Ever have the issue of being banned in the MCC and how to avoid it? Well, watch this video to learn all the details and stay tuned. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving another update video here on the MCC. Uh, I do know this is a little late on the news, but I do feel like this is something probably reiterating and make sure making a video just about this so everyone's clear about how the banning system works right now in the MCC. Uh, as we all know from the beginning that it was a bit strict, as in like you basically quit a game, you can't play anymore. Well, they kind of gave some more forgiveness now with the banning system so i figured i'd give you an update video talking about how it works now so if you guys enjoy these news informational kind of videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your experience is with the band system right now and how it's been updated since the last few days and if you're new to the channel stay updated with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified whenever do anything awesome on the channel which is going to be every time so let's get right into the video here Whole team quits. Me. Forget this. I'm backing out instead of getting spawn killed. MCC. Quitting will result in matchmaking penalty. Me. Yeah, whatever you say. Quits. Gets banned. <gasps> What? Shocked Pikachu. That's been the general consensus right so far when it comes to getting banned in the MCC. As we all know, like there is a banning system where if you quit out of match, you'll probably get tagged with a ban. Because then you'll just keep that so then people will stay in the games. Because, you know, the population is rather low and there is no joint session with the MCC. So you really want to make sure you punish your, these people who just quit out of games because they just don't like how things are playing out for them. Well, while it was a pretty damn funny meme because it's very true how a lot of people have been complaining about the band system in the MCC it literally tells you if you quit this game it's gonna be not good for you and people will quit and then they complain about it luckily though postums saw this meme as well and actually replied to it because I saw this over on reddit but I figured I'd give you guys an update about how the, the banning system works right now in the MCC so let's get right into the information. Like I said, I was a bit late on this update. This came out on the 13th, but I do think it's still important to know exactly how this works. So basically the quit ban changes. So if you don't know what the previous system was, was basically you quit out of game, you're gonna get banned for at least 15 minutes. Happened to me a couple times because, well, I don't like getting full party stomped in uh, ranked matches, so that's kind of why. But uh, so they changed up a little bit on the banning system here. So I'm gonna go over the bullet points here for you guys. So the first bullet point here, users are no longer banned for quitting Lone Wolf or Infection game mode. Now Infection, I can totally understand because it's a very social game mode. It's rather fun. And so that's not really meant to be like something that's kind of taken seriously, though it does kind of, I would say, hinder the experience. But uh, Lone Wolf is kind of surprising the free for all mode. Uh, I would expect to have a kind of strict, you know, uh, ban system because you don't want people leaving these games, especially with Lone Wolves, where you don't want people getting down to like, you know, a three player Lone Wolves match. That just seems really boring. But uh, yeah, there's no quit penalty for free for all or infection. Second like bullet point here. Quitters will still receive losses and incur the associated rank penalty in Lone Wolf. Yes, there is no quit penalty, but you do still receive the loss and you do receive a rank penalty as well. So you get a little bit of a slap on the wrist for that. But I think it's, it might be kind of one of those things where, yeah, it's, it was going to happen anyway, so it might as well quit out kind of thing. Number three, users are no longer banned for quitting 1v1s. I don't know why this really this playlist is even in there, but you know it's there. People like playing one v ones. I don't really like doing it myself, so it doesn't really affect me. And I do think that's probably a good reason to uh, remove the ban system when it comes to one v ones because you know if you're it's twenty to five, just back out. Quitting from the first half of a team incurs a ban. So basically, if you're the first or second guy to quit on your team, you will still receive a full ban. Quitting from the second half of a team does not. This is true for all player counts, 2v2s, 4v4s, and 8v8s. So if you're in the lower half of the people quitting out of the match, you will not receive a ban. So if it's a four on one situation, just quit. You're not gonna get banned. It's a big help for that to happen because I hate it when you're on a team where you're on a team of four playing against one team a team of one guy yeah it gets pretty annoying you have to just drag out the match because the guy doesn't know that you can just quit out so with this update here I do appreciate the clarity that we received from 343 and also the fact that it's a little bit more forgiving when it comes to quitting out of matches especially when you're the second half of the team quitting uh, you know, those first two quitters really should get penalized pretty hard for quitting out of MCC matches. And I really do appreciate this update and I 
I do feel like these bands are rather proper for their actions. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what has your experience been with the band system in the MCC? Do you think it's working out well for you? Is it something that you could be improved on? Is there anything that it's kind of missing out on? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this informational video, please make sure and want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel, want to stay updated with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep updated with anything Halo. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.